Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk you through one of Vizard's core functions, Scene. Once you start your project, you'll notice that Vizard automatically divides the video into different scenes based on visual differences. Think of these scenes like book chapters, they're still connected, but you have a clearer view and more efficient approach to reviewing and editing the video. At this point, the video is divided into five different scenes. The first scene features only one speaker, the second scene features both slides and a speaker, and the third scene features slides and a different speaker than the previous scene. Now, here's another important thing to note. All the tools on the left side only affect the visuals of the selected scene. Any adjustments you make will only influence the scene you choose at that moment. Which means, each scene can have their own visual style. For instance, if you add text while a scene is selected, the text will only appear in that scene, and you can use it as a chapter title or speaker's name card. The text will only be shown within a certain time range, rather than staying there indefinitely. Conversely, if you want text to remain on the screen indefinitely, like a video's main title, simply click the Add to All Scenes button to apply the text to every scene. The same goes for media, subtitles, background, and logos. If you change the subtitle style while a scene is selected, only the subtitles in that scene will be affected. Any changes made here will not affect subtitles in other scenes, unless you click the Apply to All button. You may be wondering, can I create or delete scenes? The answer is yes. If you're not satisfied with the existing scenes, you can press Enter in the text editor to start a new paragraph, which will create a new scene corresponding to the new paragraph. You can design a visual style different from other scenes for sure, and you can also keep it the same. If you want to merge two scenes together, simply delete the gray line between them by backspacing, and they will be combined into one. And there you have it. Those are the basics of the scene function. And you can find more details in the full tutorial video. Thank you for watching.